Hey everyone. So it's been a couple weeks. Um, I've been slacking in January. I'm just trying to come up with like some really content. I'm feeling a bit like creative blocked at the moment. So that's why I haven't really produced a whole lot of, <clears throat> excuse me, a whole lot of like videos. I haven't really been as active on Instagram as I would have liked. Um, so, but we're going to get back at it. I, I'm going to come up with like a schedule for February. So the rest of January is just going to be a little bit of whatever. Um, if I come out with stuff, that's great. Um, I'm going to start doing Facebook live, I think once a week or once every other week. My dog is trying to steal this to show right now. Okay, come on. Um, say hi, CMC. I know. I just did a Facebook Live, so, um, and it usually I'm about two hours when I do my makeup on there, um, but I think I'm going to do about two hours every time I go on, and it's probably going to be like, I don't know if I'm going to do it once a week or every other week, and it'll probably be like a Monday. I'm also going to come up when I'm going to upload videos on here, and it's going to be two to three times a week, and it'll probably be throughout the week, I'm assuming probably like... Tuesday and Thursday or maybe Tuesday Wednesday Thursday or I might just do Tuesday and Thursday to start off and then every so often throw a Sunday one in there but we'll see but I'm going to share my Facebook down below so that you guys can check out my Facebook lives um, and that so without any further ado grab yourself a drink I am drinking a Palm Bay the passion fruit with watermelon it's freaking delish I don't normally like watermelon sort of flavored stuff but I like watermelon in general like the actual fruit but not necessarily flavored stuff so there's a little something about me um Mr. Demanding is here but and he's gonna hate this because he feels like he's been ignored for a whole two hours because he's needy that way but we love him but now I have to put you down because we're gonna do my subscription unboxing so I have my top box and my Ipsy. My boxy charm isn't here yet. I'm either gonna do a video all on its own for that, or I might just do a Facebook Live this month. Um, um, we'll just see. I also have a glossy box. I know last month I said I was gonna cancel it, but actually um, I forgot. And yeah, then it was like, it took me almost a week to actually get it cancelled because there was a typo when I signed up so it didn't get attached to my one account it d doesn't matter I got confirmation today that it is cancelled so this will be the last glossy box that I get um, glossy box is a monthly subscription it is about like I forget how much it is but you do I have to say you probably do get products that are worth more than the box I just found the products they gave me I was never happy with. Now, if they would have done more boxes like what we got this month, I probably would have stuck with it. I hope the lighting's okay. I never know until after. Um, I'm hoping for 2018 I'll get a ring light which will make life a little bit easier. So, I know many of you are like questioning what's up with my hair, but I'm gonna save that for another video. So right off the bat, here it is. You got this velvet little gift card thing. It's totally cute. Um, this is for Velvet for Glossy Celebrate with Velvet Sunny. So this is like a glasses, like eyeglasses and sunglasses. And it's a $20, $5 card. I probably won't use it. I really hate when companies do this because I'm Canadian. So this stuff is like sort of obsolete because they don't do free shipping. They only do free shipping for Americans. And because it's an American money. It ends up being more because I'm Canadian. So. so then you get your little like information card and it has like Dear Glossies and it talks about the new year. And then it's like about next month and all that stuff and don't miss out. And then it has like a whole information pack that I'm going to like put right here. So if you see me leaning towards I'm just trying to read what the cost of everything is in the info. This is the setup. So... Right off the bat, I was totally excited because I have Buxom lip gloss that I love and I would like to try more from them. And this is the Buxom Big Tease Plumping Mascara, just right there. 
and we'll just do. So this video is probably going to be long, um, just because it's been a few weeks and I have, we have like three boxes. So, and as you guys know, I appreciate the brush because it's a bristle brush. I'm not big on plastic brushes, so I'm excited to try that. And a full size of this is $22. So this is probably like your deluxe sample size. And this is in the blackest black. So I'm excited to try that. This is from Theory and it's their Marilua Oil Transferring Hair Serum. And a 3.4 ounce is $26. And this is a 0.34 fluid ounce, a 10 milligram. So there's that. I'm really excited. I like oils for my hair. I do have oily hair, but I like to put oils like on the end in that. Um, or lightly, like if it, my hair is just cleaned and I've straightened if it's really fly away, especially this time of year. It doesn't really have too much of a smell. And that, so that's, I like that really nice packaging I appreciate that next is dr. botanicals um, rock and rose superfood facial oil um, lightweight facial oil infused with vitamins and oils for brighter even skin tone so this is a facial oil um, let's see it has almond oil aims to moisture our skin so I think you just doesn't say in English what to do. Maybe it goes on. It might say on the bottle. Oh yes, lightweight facial oil infused with vitamins. I will already read that. Doesn't really say. So love the packaging. I love oils for the skin. My skin is oily like my hair, but um, if it's lightweight, a lot of times. So this is a little bit more like a more of a watery oil oh yeah and it absorbs into the skin beautifully oh oh and it smells amazing this I can't wait to use this I love like serums and stuff for my face I'm really into skincare 2017 I totally got like end of 2016 totally got into skincare and I've been really keeping up on it and I'm really into that like if you guys have any suggestions of things to try I did uh, I did Facebook live and like I said I'm gonna share my Facebook down below and I like a lot of people were asking me like have you tried this have you and I just love that I love that um, I think I'm gonna try Yonique out um, I'm gonna try to get a few of their products because Sarah she was a girl that was on my Facebook live and she asked me about it so oh and sorry that bot dr. botanicals is $58 for one fluid ounce pricey stuff and then this is their Lumine Pur Purity Dew Drops Hydrating Gel and this is $14.99 so totally affordable this and I love things for eye I'm not big on gel stuff I've never had any luck but this sort of turns into like watery substance that absorbs into the skin I can't wait to try this. This is for Bye Bye Dark Circles. It relieves the delicate eye area, making you look and feel more awake. So freshening the eyes up. Okay. And next is this Steve Laurent. I've never heard of this. This is lip gloss, but I have to say I love the packaging. Anything rose gold I'm obsessed with. So look at this. And this is in Dusty Rose don't like I'm not a big fan when you got to stick your finger in so it totally would be a brush normally but let's try it okay it's just light and it's not thick where it'd be messy feeling I hate that sort of like that that will be nice you know I think that I feel like that's like more a like summer lip gloss so and that is $22 so I don't know that you know if that box I like I'm happy with that box that's something all that stuff I will use it and it will get like good use out of it so it's just too bad because like 
Last month they gave me a Laura Geller highlighter stick, which I love. Like I have used this stuff they've given me, but it's nothing A that's been memorable and stuff I buy again. Um, next up, I don't have a table over here, so is my top box. So top box is a monthly subscription too. It's Canadian. It with tax it comes to $13.56. So I'm always on the fence lately with top box because it the last couple months have been really months have been really meh but this month they were freaking redeem themselves so right off the bat when I opened it like it was full and I was like oh I wonder what's in here I was so excited right off the bat so happy this box was in here and um, I have this piece of paper here to tell me how much everything is and this thing is not on here so this tells me this is just an extra sometimes you just get extra things with them and this is for Masquerade hydra Hydrating Eye Gel Patches, which I love. You guys know I love masking. And I love hydrating things. I was just saying on my Facebook Live, before I like do a live or, or I do my makeup for a live or going on YouTube or if I was going out, I would totally put these in the fridge. I put mine in the fridge along with my lip masks and my sheet masks if I know I'm going out and then before I do a makeup application like my skin routine like I wash my face and I just leave my face the way it is and then I will do my eye mask my sh like I'll do a sheet mask first then I'll do my eye mask and my lip mask and then I'll go in with my serums and everything like my normal skin routine but I'm so excited I've had things from masquerade before and I'm so excited to try these out um then here's the bag and this month it looks like we got something new from Nioxin and Nioxin is like for people who are losing their hair or whatever um, it is like they have kits that help with hair loss I used to work at a hair salon we used to sell this and people live by it so they're beautiful products um, people who have very fine hair dense hair find they're losing their hair so what we got is instant fullness and this is instant fullness dry cleanser and let me see fullness it's proven to leave hair up to two times fuller within seconds so anytime anywhere your clients can give their hair an instant full fix I can't wait to try this because I do have like my hair is like I have a lot of it but it's fine so I just find that I need to like sometimes I just want it a bit thicker and so that's this and it's I don't know if you would call this like a dry shampoo spray on dry hair at roots brush through so it is but I don't it has a nice smell to it but it doesn't look like it'd be like crazy powdery like a dry shampoo so I am stoked to try that and I will let you guys know um, next up is Cake Beauty Heavy Cream, a cream made with aloe vera, coconut oil, shea butter, green tea extract to soothe, smooth, and hydrate dry skin. 150 milliliters is usually $25, $22. Oh, and the Nioxin, it's 4.2 ounce, 22 ounces is $25.99. And you can find that at a salon or, or at Chatters. And then this cream, is available at Cake Beauty and a hundred and fifty dollar or a hundred and fifty milliliter bottle is twenty two dollars so rich vanilla shea butter deep and orange so this is a buddy bu butter bomb so I've had stuff from Cake Beauty it's really nice I have a foot cream and I get a I've used hand lotion it's very thick oh my gosh oh my god I want to like eat that okay you know when you go and get Duncan Hines like the icing things and then you like end up eating out of them I usually do that's what this smells like oh my god so nice I would get it alone for the smell oh my lord that is amazing like it's I'm salv salvating now salvulating whatever it is okay let's move on so this is Cougar by Paula Dwayne, Dwayne, Dunn, Paula Dunn, um, Perfect Pelt Volume Shape Definition. Okay, it's, uh, it has an active ingredient, plumper, mimics higher. Um, 
So it's like supposed to mimic like an injection by doubling its synthetic level, but also stimulates the synth synthetics of matrix. There's a bunch of words I don't understand. So a 10 milliliter bottle, which is this, is $14.99. Okay. So it's supposed to make your lips pouty. That's interesting. It's very gooey. Very gooey, glossy. You can see it right there. Very like, it almost feels like a ball of honey. I don't, doesn't really say what you're supposed to do with it. Like, do you leave it on a minute? Oh, I don't like the smell of that. So it's really thick, really thick. And it smells like pine salt, like the, the original pine salt, not like some fun, like lavender pine salt or orange pine salt. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that. Anything that's too thick for the lips, I just find uncomfortable. So yeah. And last from Glam Glow, Water Burst Hydrate Glow Moisturizer, a weightless water cream for up to 72 hours of continuous hydration. Featuring a triple hyaluronic acid complex, the water cream forms a moisture reservoir for an instant long lasting hydration. So a 50 milliliter is $62 and you can get that at um, Sephora. Hmm. So this time of year it's always good because, oh my goodness, I sort of, it's weird. Like it looks like it would almost be hard with the way you look at it, but it's light. I'm going to try it on this hand. Okay. It absorbs into the skin beautifully. Smell, it, there's a smell to it that's nice, but it's not strong. It almost smells like orange creamsicle or something. But very light. And it absorbed in and left my skin feeling nice. Hmm. I am looking forward to trying that. So, actually, Top Box, you redeemed yourself because the last couple months were a little bit... Okay, but last but not least is Ipsy. Um, so this is this month's Ipsy bag. Very cute, like mesh sort of netting, um, neon, very cute. And you get your card and it says, I will conquer. So with it probably being the beginning of a new year, you're supposed to come up with some type of like goal or whatever, something you're going to conquer in 2018. And it just, it, that's what it pretty much says, like your game face, like what nailing a job interview or running a 5k consistent skincare routine, everything to nail your goals. And basically they want you to fill this out and they want you to post it and then hashtag it with Ipsy and Ipsy game face. And then you're supposed to cheer on other Ipsters. Might actually do that. It could be fun. Um, so to start off, so I didn't get anything that says like how much anything is, what it is exactly. I tried to look up on my Ipsy account, but it didn't really give me a whole lot to go with. So I'm just, I'll just tell you guys what it is. If you want, you can look it up. So first off, I got this City Color Contour Palette. Um, so when I first saw this, so col City Color, I would say it's like an affordable brand. It's definitely cheaper. I have a, like one or two other things from them and they're not bad. I did, do have like a three thing blush and the blush fell apart really easily. So I do know these are really de um, delicate. The other thing is, is I know they're pretty chalky. So right off the bat, when I seen this, I was uh, scared it was um, cream like, um, concealer because I have a couple like from Revolution Beauty I have something that's similar and I just found it way too thick and the same with there was something else I got and it was from Bella Pierre for my BoxyCharm last month it was a correcting palette the corrective colors and it was way too thick but this is powder I can probably work with this now the one thing with this is, is it's very it is very chalky um, but it would be easy to sort of like blend this. Like this is their contour. So this one here is their contour color and that seems like really dark for me. But like once I get it on, 
I could it would be blend so easy and it's very chalky so you need to sort of so this is their bronzer but I would probably contour more with this too yeah so it is very powdery chalky this is their highlight so I don't know if you guys can tell but like as you can see you can brush it off so it's not gonna give you like it's not gonna be very pigmented like it might go on very pigmented but it's pretty chalky so this is me like I could use it I'll use this but it's like whatever to me um, preventable measures 101 after hours lip balm with moisture release technology passion fruit okay so this is like a lip chap I'm sorry I'm not showing everybody everything so it's just a lip chap it smells really good everything's about passion fruit tonight um, and I feel and it doesn't like some chapsticks you get like that waxy feeling like that you know those like so not so echo or ESO or something they're like the balls of chapstick and that I find they almost feel like really thick on my lips and almost um, waxy this doesn't feel this way it actually has a light it almost absorbs but leaves leaves it feeling nice it will be interesting to try this on my lips um, and I feel like this would sit nice because it goes on light underneath lipstick so you could apply it almost use it as a primer we're gonna try that next up is mud masky sleep repair renewal nourishing mask this is repairing hydrating rejuvenating smoothing and protecting and this is a night mask so you'll put a thin layer on and leave it five to ten hours and sleep with it on I don't like face mask I like sleep masks so once again I'm sure maybe this could be very well a lovely product I will probably try it out I try to love night masks I do them once every like three months because I do want to I love masking um, but night masks aren't for me. I just don't like feeling something on my face that's gooey. I just don't like, like, when you're trying to sleep and I just feel like your hair is getting into it and uh, I don't know, dog hair. My dog sleeps with me, so. Um, no smell. I'm sure it's fine, but I'm, there's so far only one night mask that I liked, but I still don't. Like I was, if I have to wear a night mask, it would have been the one I chose. I'm not going to tell you guys because that's going to be another video. Okay, so Cache London. This is their Fierce Flix. This is their liquid eyeliner. So it goes on really wet and bold. But it does seem to dry pretty quick. I feel like it would last a while. I'm looking forward to trying that. And then last but not least, Hello Neon Velvet Liquid Lipstick Matte Long Lasting Moisturizing. Okay. Okay, so here is the packaging. Love it. Very luxe. Um, this is, it just says DF on the end. I don't know. I'm been looking to see if it's written somewhere and I'm just blind and can't see it oh hollow babe oh maybe that is it I don't know anyway let's just oh I really like that can you guys see that that is it feels really nice it doesn't feel like it would be drying like a lot of other matte I will tell you something. I have that lip pout on my hand and it stinks. Don't like that shit. Sorry. I can't really smell anything with this, so I'm happy about that. So it's really like, I like the liquid eyeliner in this this month. The other stuff I could really care less about. Um, Ipsy sort of did that last month, me too. So all in all, it was for the most part not bad. I a lot of the stuff I will use, and a lot of it you can tell was geared towards like hydrating and that. Um, I'm looking forward to that glam glow thing, um, and a bunch of the stuff in the glossy box. But we won't be seeing glossy box next month. Um, 
I, if you guys know of any other like products you want me to try, or you have a suggestion for a video, or if there's another subscription box I should try, <laughs> um, let me know. Other than that, um, like I said, February will be better, it'll be consistent. Um, I apologize, this video is really long. But just stick with me guys, um, and I have more content coming, and I just, I feel like I'm getting better and better, so, cheers! Delish.